Hi everyone, in this video we're going to introduce the notion of something called integration by parts. So integration by parts is an integration technique that uses a formula. So the formula is the indefinite integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. So the formula when you first see it um, it's a little bit intimidating. It does take some time to get used to it. The best advice I have for anyone who is learning this formula is to write it down every single time uh, that you use it. Let's do a quick uh, proof or derivation of the formula and then we'll do some examples of using the formula. So I'm just going to call it proof. I'll put it in quotes. It's a rough proof. So the proof is something that comes from the product rule. So if you have u times v, and you take the derivative of that, well, that's going to be the derivative of the first, which is just u prime times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second, which is v prime. We can use differential notation here. So what I mean by that is instead of writing u prime, we can write du. So that's the shorthand version of the derivative. So let's write this as VDU plus UDV. And so now what we'll do is we will integrate both sides. So let's integrate. So if you integrate this piece here on the left, the derivative goes away. So you just get UV. Here you get the integral of v du plus the integral of u dv. And you can see if we want to get our formula, all we have to do is subtract this piece here. So when we do that, we get the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. And that completes our little proof sketch. So the integration by parts formula is a direct result of the product rule for derivatives. So what are some tips and what are some things that you can do that will help you? So here's a few things that are somewhat helpful. And these are just general guidelines. It's not like an always rule, just most of the time. So typically, dv, typically, not always, is the more complicated part. So I'll put more complex. Okay, uh, assuming we can integrate it, because you'll notice here there's dv, and then here there's v. So you're going to have to integrate this. So assuming you can integrate it, 2, u is usually the portion whose derivative is simpler. Derivative is simpler. So if, for example, if you have x squared, a good candidate uh, for u would be x squared because the derivative of x squared is 2x, uh, so it's simpler. 3. This is really important. dv always has the dx part, so always has dx. Let's go ahead and just jump into it right away, and I'll do an example of integration by parts. So let's make up a classic example. Let's do the integral of x times, how about x times the um, cosine of x, dx. Okay, so let me go ahead and write the formula down one more time so you see it. So the formula is the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v du. So here we can use parts for this. We'll let u be equal to, well, Whatever we pick as our u, we have to be able to differentiate it. And whatever we pick as our dv, we have to be able to integrate it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick u equals x, because when you take the derivative of x, it's going to be 1, so it becomes simpler. And then dv is everything that's left over. So you have all of this here, and it's left over. So dv is cosine x dx. It's always really important to identify your u and your dv. Then, in order to use the formula, you have to compute du. So du is equal to dx. And then you have to compute v. So to compute v, what you do is you integrate dv. So v, 
So let's see, when we're integrating cosine, we're just going to get sine, right? Because the derivative of sine is cosine. Don't worry about the plus c, just integrate it. So you write down your u, you write down your dv. Notice we picked u equals x because its derivative is simpler. The derivative of x is 1. We took the derivative, we found du. We integrated dv and we got v. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's use our formula. So this is equal to, so let's see, uh, uv. So uv, so x times sine x. Okay, x. notice how I have it written down here. I'm looking at it. <laughs> you can't see my eyes, but I am looking at it. So uv is x sine x minus, and then the integral of v du. So sine x dx. So sine x dx. Beautiful stuff. So again, it's uv minus the integral of v du. So it's uv, x sine x, minus the integral of v du. Okay, so now we just have to integrate sine. So this is equal to x sine x. We just, oh, thought process change there. The line means nothing. So this is equal to this, x sine x. Uh, we're integrating sine. So if you integrate, um, what's a function whose derivative is sine? Well, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, and there's already a negative here. So this is just going to be plus cosine x and then plus c. Put your plus c at the end. You can check this, right, because the derivative of cosine is negative sine, and so you can actually put the negative in there and everything agrees. So that's it. That's how you use uh, integration by parts. Now, there is a shortcut to integration by parts called tabular integration. So tabular integration is a little bit faster, and in the videos that follow, you'll see examples of tabular. Tabular is always better and easier to use whenever you can use it. So in the videos that follow, you'll see plenty of examples of tabular. So whenever you can use tabular, you should always, always use it. I hope this video has been helpful.